So we got the GoPar Plus. This is a two month update since I bought them. So far, no problems with them. I basically been using them every day. Um, everything's working pretty well with them so far. The only problem that I actually had is one of them I had an issue with uh, with the outlet. I don't know if it's this one or that one, but one of the outlets don't work, so I had to uh, find a situation of trying to figure out how to uh, fix the situation. So I'm going to show you today what I did. Um, for the most part, um, they've been charging real good, but like I said, the one issue that I had was I had to uh, plug a power source into the outlet and the one outlet didn't work so I'm gonna show you a quick easy way of getting around that so when you get your go power plus one of the extra cores that they give you is the car adapter so I'm gonna show you how to use the car adapter to get around fixing the outlet problem so basically you use the 12 volt outlet you plug it into the solar input or the charge input I went out and bought one of these. This is called a power light. It's basically a male plug and two female plugs at the end. I got this at uh, Menards. I'm pretty sure you can order this online. Um, probably through Amazon or some other place. Um, basically what you do is you take this plug that's coming out from the 12 volt accessory and you plug one side in to the female. Then I went and bought this. It's an Everstart 120 volt. Uh, basically it's just a 120 volt outlet so that you can plug up either USBs or you can plug up a regular standard appliance. But it's only rated at 120 volts. So basically what you're gonna do you're going to take the male side and plug it in into the female of this. So basically the part that's coming out of this, the 12 volt out is coming out of this plug, is going to power this up. And once this, this thing is powered up, the light's going to come on. And then you get this to plug up. And you can see the red indicator lights on so that means this is working since this outlet doesn't work I'm able to get a different outlet a different outlet and use this and this ever start I get from Walmart I think it's regular price at 15 bucks or you can get it on Amazon so this is another method of doing it just in case if you have the same problem with your go power plus where the outlet is not working and uh, I'm going to show you another hack. Um, basically, this is a typical 13 watt solar power solar panel. Now, typically during the daytime, if you want to run solar power and charge this unit at the same time, you haven't been able to do that. But I'm going to show you a simple way of how to get around that. Now, I suggest that you don't use a solar panel. No powerful, I'm going to say... 60 watts you could probably do a hundred watt power uh solar power cell but i don't want you to damage the cells inside of this so the most i would tell anybody to do is 60 watts but i'm just using this as an example this is a 13 watt panel so basically what you're going to do this is the hack you're going to basically take the negative you're going to take the negative and you're going to put it on the male of this And then you're going to put the positive to the tip. So basically, you're going to take the positive, put it on the tip. You're going to put the negative over here. And basically, what you're doing is you're charging this. You're charging the cells as the power is coming through this unit. So that if you're using this on an appliance or you're charging a phone, that you're actually getting power from two different places. You're getting power from the Go Plus 
and you're getting power from your solar cell. So it's just going into this junction, and it's going here, but half the power is being able to power your appliance, and that power is coming out from the battery. It's coming out, so you're giving two amounts of power. But like I told you before, I only suggest you go no more than 60 watts with this because if you go 100, you might actually damage the cells on the lithium batteries. But that's as much power I would, I would allow into this junction. That way you don't blow a fuse or burn out wires and stuff like that. But just a little hack that I was going to show you today. But other than that, my Go Power Plus are working well. I use them every day. Um, I've been using my Wi Hi Fi hotspot. I just stick it on the back of this and basically uh, charge up my uh, Wi Fi hotspot. And I'm able to keep it plugged in all day. That way I have power continuously working the Wi Fi hotspot. Because usually, typical Wi Fi hotspots, the power drains really fast on most of, on most of the units. Not all of them, but most of them. But I just came to give you a little update of the power, Go Power Plus. Um, this is two months I've been using them. Like I said, the uh, only problem I've had is just an outlet issue because one of the outlets on my Go Power Plus stopped working. But other than that, the unit is working well, and I'm able to charge many devices. But I definitely highly recommend this because it's actually a pretty good unit for the amount. I think most everybody was getting them for like 40 bucks from Walmart, but definitely a must-have 